Hi Fox, my name is Hermit in the Forest. Uh, this is my unboxing of Champions of Grin. Well, this is role-playing game from SSI. It is a part of Goldbox range and is based on Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules and Dragonlands game world. Uh, SSI uh, released uh, silver box games, those were Heroes of the Lands and Dragons of Flame that uh, had quite different gameplay and this is the sequel to those games but as I said uh, the gameplay uh, in this game is same as other gold box range SSI games so you explore in 3D in first person view and combat in uh, top down view and the combat is turn based while in the silver, silver box range the gameplay uh, was absolutely different and uh, this game is the start of a trilogy of Dragonlands uh, Gold Box Range games. It's followed by Death Knights of Kryn and the Dark Queen of Kryn. Well, let's take a look at the box art. Okay, Dragonlands. In the Dragonlands world, the enemies are the Draconians. Those are something between uh, human and dragons, so something like humanoid lizard men with wings. Now, let's take a look at okay, the back side of the box. There's some text about the game, pictures from the game. Yeah, here's the pictures from the game. It plays absolutely the same as the classic uh, SSI games like Pool of Radiance. Well, let's open the box and see what is inside. There is the game itself. It comes on five and uh, quarter inches discs. Disc 1, disc 2, disc 3 and disc 4. Now there's some advertisement. Here's advertisement for a clue book. Wanted a clue, okay. Registration card. Good. Again, here's some. Another advertisement. Good. SSI catalog. Yeah, usual stuff. Now, here's something nice. This is a big paper poster of Champions of Kryn. Yeah. So this is uh, basically what was on the cover, on the box cover. Yeah. Now you can see the Draconians here. And down here, yeah. It's just the big front cover. Very nice poster. Well, what's next? Next we have here the data card. So, info about installing the game, troubleshooting, controls and basic tips for playing the game. Okay. Requirements. Here are the controls, 
usual stuff. Okay, and what we have next? This is a rule book, yeah. It's not written here though, although it is a rule book, but it's not explicitly written here. Here are the table of contents. Again, introduction. This game box should contain. This was such a such a good habit that disappeared. Writing the contents of the boxes somewhere. And basic tips for playing. So people who are not much into AD&D rules could just read this thing book and start a game outright. While the D&D fanatics read the adventurous journal of course, or people more interested in the story. Well, well, well. Okay, on the other side there is advertisement uh, for the clue book to this game. Now here's the Adventurer's Journal. This is a thick book of AD&D rules. Take a look at the table of contents. Here's the credits. Again, SSI Special Projects Group responsible for this game. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, some nice map. Adventure journal full of nice pictures and interesting info. This elf dwarf, something about elves. Okay, and another gorgeous drawings. Hey, nice. And here it is attributes. Alignment, yeah. Like always, D and D rules. And here are some enemies. And at the end, of course, again, journal entries with some maps. And here, the experience and leveling tables, spells tables and such. Okay, I also have the clue book. That was not part of the package, of course, you have to uh, order it separately. It's just a walkthrough and tips for playing. Here's the table of contents, general hints, yeah, and walkthrough. Yeah, here's some maps. And here, what you should do in each map. In points, yeah, again, map, legend, and what you should do 
in this map and so on and so on it continues okay and that is all i thank you very much for watching this video